Hello Collective, welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source, I return to sender, all negative energies and intent immediately and prominently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the vi highest of vibrational energy. I return to source, I return to sender, all negative energies and intent immediately and prominently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. Okay, whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, uh -huh. so shall it be. Judgment is final. Let's go ahead and get into this tarot reading, honey. There is, oh my Lord, this is what we started freaking with. Eight of Swords followed by the Ten of Swords. Tell me an escalation. Show me an escalation if there ever was one. There is a group of people stuck in their mind about an ending coming towards someone. They are planning. Yeah, they're watching you. Planning your exit out of this realm because you know a little bit too much about them. You're causing a problem for them in their communities, in their homes. These are uh, dark workers, by the way. They do rituals around the moon cycle faithfully. These people are more faithful to doing rituals than they are to their relationships, to their progress, to their healing. Healing does not matter to them. These are people that just don't get, don't, don't get it. They don't have a clue in life. In life. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. So they are planning your ending. Someone's been exposed out here. Someone's been seen as a false empress and she may be in her, in her uh, uh, feelings. Yeah. This is her walking out here embarrassed. Don't want to be seen. Honey, I don't know what to tell you. It came back out again. I closed the deck, opened the deck, and it came out. There's also a, 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 a queen of cups that's exposed. All of these people are going through some type of ending, some type of embarrassment, okay? They don't want you receiving some type of offer, and this is why they've been trying to shake you up. This is a blessing from the most high for you, okay? Whether this is you working with someone, partnering up with someone, someone falling in love, proposing to you, whatever this is, whether this has to do with your abundance, your stability, whatever it is, they want you out in the cold, but this is their future. Poverty is the road that lies ahead. I will keep saying it for this um, emperor going through an ending as well behind the scenes. All of these people are going through something behind the scenes, but they're more focused on you ending you and things like that this is a whole family but rest assured you are protected okay your abundance is protected there could be an emperor behind the scenes as well that's interested in you honey there is absolutely uh someone in here going through some type of heartbreak this is divine intervention by your ancestors okay and they're causing turmoil amongst these people. They say, you want to keep fooling with this person? We're ready to play. The scores are being settled. There's nothing these people can do to you that cannot be done, with, done to them 10 times over. There's something I said on this platform where I said, this community, what they can do to you, the laws they can, they can cause you is temporary. But the laws you and your ancestors can cause them is prominent. They cannot recover from it. Okay, so there's something in here where people may be losing finances, losing relationships, all right, getting sick, stuck in their mind. Someone has some legal issues coming in. I mean, these people want to use stuck in your mind, coming in to gaslight you and play with your emotions. There's absolutely an emperor going through something behind the scenes, right? Has some type of legalities going on behind the scenes, maybe trying to hide it. No, 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 no. Someone is stuck in their mind about an offer being given to you. Someone is stuck in their mind about coming in to play with your emotions because they know you can see right through them. Someone knows you can see right through them. So it's going to be absolutely difficult for them to play with you. Give you some type of false offer. Okay. Yeah. They know you see right through them. You know what they are. This is someone you see them, you already know. That's a mask you have on. I'm going to need you to take that mask off because what, what's behind there ain't beautiful. Okay? So, whatever this, uh, uh, these people are planning, it's not coming into fruition. This is like your enemy planning their own ending, thinking they're planning it for you. Okay? 
for someone out there you could be being watched by the justice system all of these people are being watched by the justice system everybody everybody is under surveillance everybody is under surveillance okay there's something going on in courts okay there's a court case going on it could have something to do with a property these people everybody is under judgment including you collective you are being observed by the spirit realm to make sure that you are sticking to your path sticking to your destiny staying true to yourself okay the universe is making sure that two people will be coming together to build a freaking uh, uh, um soul trap there's a whole community here going through heartbreak going through distress some type of short-lived victory they may have been planning your ending and they thought they had succeeded at it only to be disappointed they were living under some type of false pretenses that they had successfully defeated you destroy you it's not so okay they were playing with themselves thinking they were playing with you there's something where it's like every plan they come up with is being exposed someone did someone expected something to go in their favor okay there, you can expect there's someone like from the justice system that may be coming towards you to bring something to your attention. What has been going on behind the scenes? This whole group is being exposed. The friendships are over. The alliances are over. The COVID is over. Everybody has been being monitored. These people do some type of practices behind the scenes, doing projections and things like that, astral projections, whatever this is. You could have someone in here that wanted to pick some type of fight with you, was coming towards you, something may have happened to them. Or if they try to come towards you, something is going to happen to them. Okay, something is going to happen to them. Okay. There could be an emperor going, th yeah, he's going through an ending. I was about to say going through, could be going through an ending and the tower came out. There's an emperor going through an ending for fooling around with you. It's like your ancestor sister said, you can get it, you can get the smoke, you can get the smoke, you can get the smoke. You all can get the smoke. Anybody can get the smoke, including you. Okay. Queen of Wands has been popping in here. Collective, you're showing up in here as well because you're standing your ground. There's a Queen of Wands that has some type of legalities going in for playing with her own life, playing with playing Russian roulette with her own destiny, trying to steal someone's destiny. Okay, someone wanted to, be, wanted to be seen as multifaceted, has been copying someone, stealing from someone. This is nothing but a liar. Nothing but a liar. Uh huh. Nothing but a liar. This is someone's hidden enemy, and they don't even know that they've been sleeping with the enemy. They don't know. She wants to be seen as this. I'm pure. I'm kind hearted. I'm secure. I'm upright. Uh uh. This is you. This is you. This is you. Okay. I don't know if this woman has been. I think there's something where this woman is either working with an emperor or she is in a relationship with an emperor and he's leaving her behind, separating himself from her. Whether it's a partnership of work, uh, whether it's a partnership of romance, they're separating. Okay. She may be planning or trying to figure out how she can come towards you to cause problems. You better sit down where you are. Have several seats. Okay. Have several seats. Have, I'm telling you, have several seats. All of these people are going through it behind the scenes. This one here has lost protection from his ancestors. He has lost protection from the spirit realm. They've all stepped away from him because he fell from grace by going up against you. Lost quite a lot of money. Lost quite a lot of relationship. Struggling behind the scenes. He's exposed. Okay. Someone was guided to do the right thing. But what did he do? He chose not to do the right thing. So it's worse to say, okay, well, you're on your own. And now he knows he betrayed the wrong person. There's something where I don't know. I don't know if this man that partnered up with someone because they had money or they joined a community because their false promises were made to them. There's something like that going on here. There's a queen of pentacles that's emotionally unstable. Someone is losing it behind the scenes. Because she wants to hold on to something that does not belong to her. She, uh, uh, I don't know what this is. This woman has some type of superiority mind complex. I don't even know how to put that. Okay. She's upset because 
you're going to be receiving something in divine timing that you and someone are going to meet and there's nothing they're going to be able to do to block this meeting from taking place. This is something that's divinely orchestrated by the most high, but there's a group, there's a couple, there's a woman, there's a, there's a lot of people that feel like they have the authority to get in there and hinder that, block that from happening. It's not happening. The way they think it is. The universe has already made a decision. Can you imagine being in a classroom? Which we are, right? We're in a classroom on this planet. Can you imagine being in a classroom and the teacher says, Hey, class, we're going to do this today. And a um, little kid in there decides, Oh, no, we're not doing that today. We're going to do something else. Can you imagine the bombastic side that teacher teacher's going to give them? Is that, Excuse me? This ain't your classroom. That's what's going on here. There's a group that feels like they have the authority to make judgment in someone else's life. They have trapped a lot of people with them. This is a whole cult like mentality. This is a whole cult mentality. This could be very well be a cult. All they do is play with their people's mindset, their, pe their people's emotions. They don't give two hits what's going on with these people. They've been able to trap them for years, for decades, and steal their futures from, for them, from them. This is that you're working in an institution. You get in there, you're all abundant. You have a prosperous future. You end up finding out that, you know, they've set you up or they've done something to you. They've been stealing your energy. You know how some of you are work in companies where you go there, you just know you're not thriving. Your future is not going anywhere. And you don't know why you're stuck in this company. You want to leave, but you don't understand why you cannot leave. You're showing up every day, like unhappy. This is you every day going into that building, feeling stuck, unfulfilled, okay? But you tell yourself, well, you know, it pays the bills, but you feel drained in that company. You feel drained, okay? There's some type of false veil. There's some type of veil that's put there to make you feel like you are part of a family. It's not a family. You're in a coven. You're in a cult. You're in a toxic community that is stealing your energy from you. They're, they're manifesting off of your energy. This is why some of you are in companies that are wealthy, but they don't pay you like you're supposed to be paid because they're, they're breadcrumbing you. They are breadcrumbing you. Okay. They are breadcrumbing you. They could give you more. Okay. They could give you more, but they're not going to because they're too greedy. They're too greedy. They steal from their employees. They don't care how much loss you all have. As long as they are what? Fulfilled in life. They're going to keep playing along with you. Okay? Acting like they're working with you, advocating for you, taking action with you. Right? They want, they're going to keep pretending like they're in the upright, but this is really them. Greedy. Greedy as heck. Okay? Some of you are in these, these situations. This is exactly what's going on. And they've come across someone that they cannot block their future uh, this is then this is a whole enterprise like this behind the scenes and it's going to keep going on these towers are going to keep hitting them they're stolen a lot of people's uh, uh, energies this is their future this enterprise is going down going down they, look there goes the head of the enterprise right there begging for mercy please sir uh, please sir uh. this is the head of this enterprise begging for mercy it's about to go down, all the way down, 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 down. I'm telling you, they've been breadcrumbing you all. It's not that they're not able to pay you. It's that they're pretending not to be able to pay you more. This is one of the ones where they say, if we keep giving them raises, we're going to go out of business. Meanwhile, they're taking checks home, their bonuses, hundreds of thousands of dollars, thousands of dollars, their bonus checks, money that can make differences in their employees' lives. But they have programmed their employees to be a specific way where they they think they're part of a family. We operate on principle. The heck is this? What kind of principle is this? Causing endings in your employees' lives. You know how you have the you know the one person they sit at the top, and they're all happy, fulfilled in life. And what's happening to the rest of the people at the bottom? Okay, you know the story. I don't have to tell you. They're out here breadcrumbing us just that Uncle Sam is breadcrumbing us. Mm-hmm. Y'all better wake up. Better, yeah, I'm telling you, you better wake up. Got these, these are the kind of companies that'll gather you all up. Hey, that person is an enemy. 
you don't even know why the person is an enemy towards you. They, they haven't done nothing to you. I'm telling you, you don't even know. And when they tell you to take action against them, this is you. you say, I don't know why I'm being told to do this. This person hasn't done anything to me. And, but they tell you some type of sophisticated lie and tell you, hey, oh, they stole from us. They did this. They said this about our leader. They didn't do nothing to anyone in their company. But because they have come across someone that they cannot destroy, they cannot steal their future, it's pissing them off. So they've gone above and beyond <clears throat> to try to destroy them, bring them legal issues, connect with other companies to take them out. It's a whole lot. It's a lot deeper. I don't know why a lot of the times people are so vain and just surface minded that people can just come in and tell you go do this and you do it. They give you a couple hundred dollars. Hey, go do that to that person. And you just feel like, okay, I'm going to go do it. They give me money. You, you, you. Legal issues, legal issues, legal issues. You need to think twice when people tell you to do something, participate in something. I don't care how old you are because you're not going to be that age forever. I don't care if you're young. I don't care how young you are. Okay. If someone tells you to go do something, you need to remember you're not always going to be this age. Even for the older ones, there's going to come a time you may, you may be in this energy as an emperor today, but you're going to get old tomorrow. That's when karma kicks in for a lot of people. When you have no one there to take care of you, your family don't want to take care of you. Wife has passed away. Children don't want to be bothered with you, right? You're in some type of nursing home being, being taken advantage of. Or you can't go to a nursing home or something, right? And you got to take care of yourself. Karma. So you always got to think there's always tomorrow. There's always tomorrow. You need to pull work into yourself, invest into yourself and you. I don't care what age you are. There are teenagers out here. People come and just give you all money. Go do this. And you're just, oh, yeah, I got, I made $500. And all I got to do is go bully someone online. I made $500. And all I got to do is go knock on their door and run. I made $500. And all I have to do is go and park outside. The heck are you doing? What are you doing, honey? You're living under some type of false pretense, ruining your future. There are people in life you should never mess with. The, and the communities that are hiring you all to get online and bully other people, content creators and things like that, they're being monitored. Uh, you see that right there? They're being monitored. Every aspect of their lives. From the time they wake up, from the time they wake up in the morning to the time they go to sleep, they are, I'm telling you, they are being monitored just like they're monitoring this star C here. Uh-huh. Invasion of privacy. They are being monitored themselves. Ain't no problem. I'm telling you, I won't, I won't tell you a lie. The car came right back out, but with the community and the couple car. Right here, the family car. Yeah, 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 yeah. See that? The couple that's been hiring you all behind the scenes. The community that has been hiring you all behind the scenes. They are being monitored. And this monitoring here is not uh, illegal. So they got problems coming in. They thought they were sophisticated enough. Oh, we have, we have our own tech guy, our own tech department, uh huh, that we can have them, you know, look into their lives, plan devices in their homes and things like that, uh huh, uh huh. And the law has picked up on it, and the law has access to everything. You don't. I'm telling you, the law has access to everything. You, them, and everybody else, equipment. And they get in there every day. They're watching you all. Go in, go out. Go in, go out. Come in, go out every day. They say, oh, okay. Someone has been watching you all for so long, they know exactly who you are based on the actions that you take. When something happened, they say, oh, I know that's Billy that did that. That's how well someone knows you all. I'm telling you, you all are front and center for them. They've been watching you all for a long time. Front and center. Front and center, when you're, when you're bribing people, paying people, they, they know, they know. You all don't even realize evidence has been turned in on you all. You think because you log into people's devices, then you know what it is they have. Oh, we don't, we didn't, we, we, we hacked into his device. 
we didn't find any evidence so they don't know anything that's going on they don't they can't prove what's going on uh maybe it was turned in before oh honey yeah 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 yeah. honey please yeah i'm i'm telling you the truth sir me community cold COVID, whatever you all are this is the god's honest truth you are under surveillance under surveillance and everything you've been doing monitored monitor they may not want to come in to come it said oh yeah this is absolutely a family and they're burdened yeah burden for taking action to steal from someone going through a tower look at this this is a whole family this is a full family that took action right to cause burden for someone trying to manipulate and cause distress they thought they were all powerful manipulating everybody around them and it led to nothing but loss for them for stealing they thought they were going to get away with it they said oh i i just hibbity hop hop away uh, yeah you can hibbity hop hop all your all away but it's all recorded let's look 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 look, look what's here tower got to walk away because everything is illuminated every time you took action against the queen of cups trying to end them this is you now stuck and this queen of cups is free to go okay and to manifest let's put that in there let's put that in there oh yeah this is you all behind the scenes you're like i don't understand how this person is so happy why are they so happy every day why are they happy why are they happy okay there goes the law enforcement there goes the law enforcement. I, I tell you a joke, but I won't tell you a goddamn lie. Yeah, with the truth. Trying to bring justice and balance into a situation. He knows the truth. Someone could be going through some type of healing here behind the scenes as well. Okay? Someone's going through some type of healing behind the scenes. Yeah, going through a rebirth. He's going through some type of rebirth. This is a different king of uh, king of source. He's going through some type of re rebirth. The same people they were working with are planning to end them. I'm telling you, the same people they are working with or were working with have been planning to end them. That is how the enemy works. They're never loyal to you. They only have one use for you, and that's to use you until they can't use you anymore. And when they cannot use you anymore, what do you think they're going to do with you? Discard you? How do they discard you? Look at the card. Okay. Look at the card. Look at the card. Look at the card. Hanging out there like fresh meat. Ready to dry. They didn't even wash you. To dry you out. Okay. Someone is absolutely coming in, collected to give you an offer. Okay, and they they end up about to be playing with you. All of them. They are not playing with these people behind the scenes. This could be someone in the court system or someone that just does not give to us. They are about the upright. They're in the upright. Bringing balance into situation. He don't care. That's all I'm going to say. This man don't care. What they say, what they don't say, what they do. This is all he's worried about balancing the situation balancing it out okay that man don't care he does not care yeah balancing it out i'm telling you putting an end to all the illusions someone may want to come in and give you some type of offer build with you something like that honey i'm not worried about that part but just know that someone is up to it behind the scenes in this whole community of thieves. Uh-huh. Monitored. Everything is exposed. Everything. Everything. Every time you are trying to steal from someone. You know, this will be the kind of people you have a phone. They've hacked into their phone. And they're trying to make sure you don't have any evidence, but little do they know, maybe you have another phone. Maybe you have two other phones that they don't have access to. They don't know about. So it's like, you're, you're, out, you're in this phone. I know you're in this phone. You don't have access to this one. 
So we're going to use this one here to send what we need to send. So you broke into someone's computer, someone's phone, someone's everything. The whole time not knowing that they have a whole nother phone. What do you do? These are the kind of people that will hire your neighbors to sneak into your apartment, your homes, while you sleep at night, while you're away. Here come their old behinds. You want to tell me you're all behind. This is what you're doing in retirement. Sneaking into people's homes. This is how these kind of communities uh, operate. You got to stay vigilant. And they come to you when you're young because it's easier to mold you into what they want to mold you into. That's why you have some of these people, they're emperors, empresses, age, out here doing immature stuff and don't even know how dumb they look. Because they've been molded to be that way for decades. So that's all they know is how to be dumb. You got men in this community that have a problem with women being in this energy. They said women have their place. So if you're outspoken, you're not in your place. They got to shut you down. And as soon as they take action against you, this is the energy they end up in. Source is that, oh, okay. We got one for you under judgment, being rejected. It's that, hey, it was fine and dandy when you were doing whatever it is you wanted to do with those karmics over there and the people that are not awake and choosing not to wake up. But the moment you come for that star seed that's doing what they're supposed to do, you don't act up royally. You don't fuck up now. Okay? There's, there's a download I'm getting, and I always to try my best to listen to my intuition. I love supporting freaking other readers. I watch them. Uh, um, actually, I feel like I need to calm down on watching readers and things like that. But I do watch a few readers. And if they don't post, I, I'll be like, okay, I guess I'll come back later. There's a reader. You, darling, you are being misused by a community. They are reaching out to you under different profiles as clients sending you request to do readings now i don't know about your personal situation behind the scenes i don't want to look in there that's none of my business i'm not going to you need to be mindful with who you're doing readings for because there's a community that's creating pro fake profiles and sending you requests to do readings and the readings you're doing for them is endangering someone else's life it is endangering another practitioner's life. Stop doing that. This is like you do a reading for someone today. They go and create a profile of a, like the, a different cash app profile through a family member or something or a friend. And they sent you another request to do a reading. Okay. This is a community of the same people. Sending requests into you to do readings, to look into someone's energy. They're asking you personal questions about someone. Are they planning to go somewhere? Are they doing this? Are they doing that? Do they have love coming in? You should not be answering any of those questions. You should not be answering any of those questions because, honey, if you keep going, your future... You're going to piss the, uh, the universe off. This is going to be you. This is going to be you. So whether you're doing it for the love of money or whatever, you may want to chill. Because this ain't what you think it is. This is why I'm glad I don't even get it. I took my info off of there. Don't get requests for personal readings. I'm not doing any personal readings. Because you have people out here that do stuff like that, like this. Looking into other people's lives and stuff. Now, I don't think you're malicious or whatever. I don't think you are. But you may want to look into the energy of the people that are sending you those requests. Because I feel like if they're getting out of their way to send you a request to look into someone else's life, you should be able to look into theirs as well. You, you can, they tell you, hey, I need you to, can you tell me if this person is going to be traveling? Say, what about I look into your life? Behind the scenes, then you know what? Instead of looking into this person's life, let me look into yours. So I did that with someone before on one of my old pages. They got on there while I was trying to post, 
trying to play around, asking some foolish stuff they didn't really care about. I say, you know what, what, what about I look into your life? They stop hopping onto my lives. So you need to be mindful. Be mindful. Because the road ahead is not looking bright if you keep doing this stuff. It's not about the money. It don't got, you don't get into this kind of business for the money at all. You do not get into this kind of business for money, okay? Helping people do this kind of stuff. Monitor people spiritually and things like that. You don't get into the business for this kind of stuff. If you're not here to genuinely heal people, you need to, you need to take a break. Get off the platform. Take a break from spirituality. Go do something else. Because what you're doing is stealing people's futures from them by giving them, giving those karmics access to their information. Okay? You need to be practical. Think about it. Okay? I don't know if you're like a business owner or something. Yeah, you could be. Think about it. Not all money is good money. Not all money is good money. But thank you for watching, folks. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.